Welcome to the first video in this new mini series on my channel. It's basically like a spring cleaning slash getting my life and house back in order series. I'm gonna go room by room. We're starting off in the bedroom because this is like the biggest problem and I feel like the most like immediate need uh, to get done. So I'm gonna show you what we're working with. I feel like you know just small things keep getting put off and then they just like pile up and it makes things just a little bit more stressful and i feel like our house is kind of getting to that point so i'm gonna stop pushing things off and i'm gonna address the things that i need to get done today so today i am dedicating to the bedroom which you can see behind me it's definitely been worse it's not like outrageous but there is a lot of just like small things everywhere that i need to figure out so that's what we're going to be doing today if you're new don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started we've got miss luna here hanging out with us how you doing girlfriend how you doing she's getting so big it's like crazy look at her oh my god she's coming up on five months how are you five months old how she is definitely teething um so she like loves to chew on things let's see she's probably not gonna do it because i said something but she loves this little toy it's from amazon i will link it down below she loves to chew on this little like green part and she can like grab it she can grab these little pink sides here and like bring it to her mouth so it's a really good toy we just have it like attached to her bouncer because sometimes she throws it but <laughs> I definitely recommend this toy for a teething baby now here's a look at the current state of our bedroom we have clean laundry here that needs to be put away more clean laundry um, more clean laundry this all needs to be taken off and washed we have all white bedding and we have a dog that has black hair so <laughs> not exactly the ideal situation so we always have a blanket like one of these kind of like not that we don't care about but just one that is okay if it gets dirty um, blanket on top of our like comforter just to kind of protect it from poncho because poncho does sleep in the bed with us um we also have my pregnancy pillow here but this is now poncho's pillow so <laughs> we usually put it at the end of the bed and cover it with a blanket and then poncho gets covered with this blanket he's definitely spoiled <laughs> um and then Jarvis's side is over here my side is over here so Jarvis' side is pretty clean besides the socks that I need to put away. There's definitely like dog hair everywhere. Um, as you can see, like dust and dog hair. So we need to address that. I got some like powder to put on here and then like vacuum it. <laughs> Are you giggling? What is that? What is that noise? Are you giggling over there? She's so excited. <laughs> I have some dirty laundry that I need to put away. And then this is like a big like stress corner for me. Hang on, let me flip this paper over. Okay, just, I think my address was on there. So that's the receipt from my new shoes that I got. Look at my new running shoes. They're from New Balance. My husband got these for me for my birthday. I'm so excited about them. They are so freaking cute and they're so comfortable. I cannot wait to run in those so that's there but anyway um this needs to be reorganized and then this here is just it was functional in the beginning because I had useful things here but now I have things here like there's a dermaplast spray I literally had a c-section so that like why is that still there it shouldn't be um so this needs to be completely redone I still want to keep this here um and there's like again clean laundry on top but there's um you know we usually keep like burp cloths in here and just things that i do actually use miss luna is talking over there um <laughs> things that i actually use are on here as well so this just needs to be redone um i'm gonna i actually just switched her sheets on her bassinet these are not in here with her these were in her bouncer but we just set them in here for now this is what luna is currently sleeping in it's a halo sleep sack swaddle but we actually don't like swaddle her arms anymore because she can roll over now so 
we just keep her arms out of the swaddle but this is getting small so we're gonna have to like update or get a switcher to something else but I think the tightness of like this wrap part still being across her body helps a lot she's a really good sleeper last night was not a good night <laughs> she woke up like three times within like uh, two hours and it was pretty brutal and then she woke up again at like six something in the morning where typically this little girl right here will sleep for like eight to nine hours straight so and she's been doing that for like probably like a month and a half now so we are very blessed <laughs> with how good of a sleeper she is but last night was not a good sleep night so she might be going through some sleep regression. I don't know. Maybe it was just an off night. So anyway, that's a little update on Miss Lou. So I don't even know. I think we're going to start with the bed. I'm going to take off all the sheets. I'm going to wash the sheets first, then the comforter, and then we'll switch the poncho blankets after that. <coughs> Miss Lou is a talking girl. Look at you. Wow, you're such a big girl. So all of the laundry is folded, hung, put away, and Jarvis is actually going to try this out for the first time. I got it on Amazon. I've seen similar things on TikTok, um, but I'll link it down below. It's like a spinning brush that you can use to clean things. So we got it for the bathroom so that we can clean the shower. Um, I might open it. Oh, here you can see the different like attachments that it has and it can also be like really long or shorter it's pretty customizable so I think it was like $30 ish but I'll link it down below in case you're interested so we're about to try that out for the first time so he's gonna do that and then I am gonna start on my postpartum cart over there and redoing that
I just finished organizing my cart. Jarvis is listening to a podcast in the other room, so sorry if you can hear that. But um, I have like, I'll do a little tour. I have some nursing pads here, which I don't really wear these anymore. Finally, after like four months, my boobs stopped leaking. <laughs> um, I'm still exclusively breastfeeding, exclusively nursing right now, um, and have been up until this point. Um, I just have some random things. This little boogie picker is like a must have. It's from Free to Baby. I'll link it down below. But if you have a baby, if you have a baby or are purchasing like a gift for parents who are expecting a child, I definitely recommend this. It's like amazing. Um, so we have two of those. We have one here and one in our diaper bag. Nursing pads. I have burp cloths here. I have a webcam and a little changing pad there. This caddy is also from Amazon. Um, I'll just link like as much as I can. Um, then here I have like some medicines and stuff. So I have my prenatals, my, I have ibuprofen and Tylenol. There's one ibuprofen in here and one Tylenol in here. So <laughs> I just have those there for now. Um, I have this sunflower lecithin supplement back there, which I was taking when my i first started breastfeeding i had a lot of like pain and just like engorgement and so i was taking that to help with that i have some tissues there some uh, purell wipes there aquaphor we have her uh, vitamin d which we use every single day there's also this which is like um i think like a gas relief medicine for babies we haven't actually used that yet but um we do use the vitamin d drops and then over here i just have some like uh, breastfeeding care. I have like my silverettes, which I didn't ever, I mean, I used them, but I didn't ever notice a difference with those. So, um, I have those and then I have just like some nipple cream. This one was my favorite, the Earth Mama organic nipple butter, but I also have Lansino and, uh, Medela. And then I have a little Freedom Mom breast mask for hydration, which I figured I could still use that. And then down here I have my uh, breast pump, which um, I haven't actually used to this yet. This is the S1 or the S2, I don't know. It's the one that has to be plugged into a wall. And then I have the pump parts, which I did like sterilize and they're in plastic bags, but I'll have to sterilize them again when I use those. Eventually we wanna transition from nursing to um, still breastfeeding, but like pumping and giving her bottles once we start introducing food. So that I will definitely use more so when that time comes. Um, but the Medela hand pump is was a lifesaver for me in the beginning when I was super engorged. So um, the Medela hand pump, I actually got it from my hospital, but um, I don't think it's very expensive. I know they sell it on Amazon. That is like a holy grail for me. Um, I haven't had to use it recently, but I used it for the first like two months because my milk supply was just like crazy and I needed it for like relief. And then here I have a heating pad just in the bag there. So that's everything that's on this cart, but I have not updated this thing. I still had these like postpartum like undies, like these little diaper undies. I only had three of them left, so. I have those still on that cart. I had this uh, perineal healing foam, which again, I had a C-section, so I didn't even open this. And then I have Dermaplast here um, as well, which I am not currently using. And then there's some little like newborn onesies that were still in there, so. Uh, you can tell it's been a minute since I updated it, but now it's nice and organized and clean. I vacuumed it, wiped it down, so now I'm just going to vacuum this area, like the floor, um, and then I can move her bassinet back, and this little corner will be done, and I can kind of move on to my nightstand here. I also need to switch the laundry over as well. So it is in fact the next day. Yes, I do still have the same shirt on. I have different pants on though, so it's fine. Um, I kind of ran out of time last night to completely finish, but I will give you an update. So 
here is kind of what the room is looking like we have powder like the little rug powder on right now so i'm about to vacuum that up but we did wash and change the sheets obviously i haven't made the bed this morning but this little corner over here is still looking good so i'm getting close to being done um i still have a few things to address like this pile of stuff just like everything on this dresser um and then i also need to like dust all of these shelves because they are dusty and have dog hair on them so still a few things left to do but i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up the rug and then we will uh, go for our walk and then i'll come back and finish up this little like bedroom reset oh i also have to clean this mirror because i know that you can see that dust on there so let's get to it So the room is finally done it feels so good and it's crazy because i feel like i did a good deep clean but now i'm like noticing like dust and things in other places like behind the tv probably like underneath the dresser and the nightstands which like i just can't get to right now because like these are heavy pieces of furniture and i just can't move them by myself so um we are good for now i did a nice deep clean i'll show you kind of what it looks like the our bed is like so not aesthetically pleasing but that's just like realistically what works for us so let me show you the progress that we've made so here's what the room is looking like we have a completely cleared off dresser it looks so good i wiped the whole thing down i took everything off of there that doesn't need to be there so all we have is like this little um, i don't even know like a little decoration pompous thing <laughs> we have a little like jewelry box thing there and then we have a candle here which we don't burn it here we would pull it like forward so it's not underneath the tv but we push it back when we're not using it. We don't burn this candle too often. Only like, you know, I don't even know. It's very rare. <laughs> um, we, I would love to get like something to hide these cords. Like one of those little things. We have one in our living room. It's just like a white, like piping type thing. Like a cover. Otherwise you can like cut holes in the wall. And like fish the cords through the wall. But I, we're, I'm not <laughs> not that serious about it, but I would like to hide these cords. I think that would make it look even better. I cleaned off the mirror, so let me show you. We are nice and clean. No dust. Feels great. Um, I also dusted off all of these shelves. They're not perfect, but they are what they are so <laughs> we have all of the books well i didn't finish doing it but we pushed them all back because um we just thought like for tipping reasons that would make sense we still have not anchored these to the wall so luna is never in this area <laughs> we never are over here with her she's on the other side of the room where she sleeps in the bassinet over there but she is getting close to crawling age, so we need to anchor these to the wall as soon as possible. So that's on our to-do list. Um, but those are all nice and dusted. I cleaned off Jarvis's nightstand just like I did mine. Um, dusted everything, wiped down like the coaster and all that. This gets so much dust, and I literally cleaned this last night. And you can already see like the dog hair that has accumulated it's just like a never-ending cycle these are fresh sheets so again the bedding i know this literally looks not cute but this is what life is like with a dog that you let sleep in your bed so <laughs> we have this pink one here just to protect the comforter from him because he just will get all he'll try to dig up underneath the sheets if he finds the opportunity um he just loves being underneath the covers so 
we have this pink one just to protect the comforter um, and my pregnancy pillow <laughs> with a blanket for him and then he sleeps like right in here kind of like a little dog bed and then we cover him with another blanket so this is all fresh clean put it on the bed last night and then I use those squishmallows. I use them when I sleep. And then I also, they're very helpful when I'm breastfeeding. <laughs> I put one on like each side of me. And then I use my boppy like around me when I'm sitting here. And I put the boppy on top of these. Because otherwise the boppy will kind of angle. Anyway, not important. But <laughs> that is our bed. I know it's not the cutest thing. But this is just what works for us. And I literally don't even have the corner tucked in or anything. But... We're not like super clean, neat bed people. So it is what it is. We don't even make our bed every single day. Um, we kind of half make it <laughs> if it's a good day. So anyway, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will be doing other parts of the house. I think I'm gonna do the bathroom next. I know I just like reorganized the bathroom like a couple of weeks ago, but here's just like, this is what it looks like right now. Like why, why does this happen so fast? So I need to address this. I wanna like vacuum and mop in here. Jarvis just cleaned the shower, so that's nice and fresh and good to go. Um, but yeah, this needs to be addressed. So I think I'm gonna do the bathroom next. I also wanna like put new towels in here, wash the floor mats and stuff like that. So. I just want to get things fresh and extra clean. I hear Luna, so I got to go get her. But again, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.